A lot of the big social problems, environmental problems of the world require interdisciplinary thinking. It's all the best ideas aren't going to come out of the business school alone or policy school or engineers. We actually need to have a mixing of perspectives to find sustainable solutions. And so the afternoon design workshop is being run by Christina. She's a fabulous facilitator. If you've seen her before, she's worked with a lot of social enterprises around the city and um, mixed teams will be working on problem solving. So it's an opportunity to take some of the inspiration that you'll get up here this morning and to do, to brainstorm yourself, to think through a problem and to hopefully spark some ideas but more importantly is to come away with a set of tools, techniques and frameworks that you can use um, if you're thinking through social and environmental issues that you might go on to solve. Normal uh, business has been trained to bite or get, get money out of, out of the system and, and give, give money to their shareholders. Um, but then why can you not take that exact same machine, that efficiency machine, that machine that is driving us in the world, that machine called business, let's say genetically modify that thing called business and suddenly say, you know what, do the same thing, but your goal is suddenly a different one. It's not shareholder value maximization, it's actually solving a problem in your community. Hi, my name is Chris. I am the founder and creative director of Tide Design. So the workshop today was about introducing the thought process or the problem solving approach called design thinking. And this, we use it in our organization and have seen a lot of success with other organizations, people using this when they're looking at social challenges that are out there. So the advantage of this process and some of the tools that we talked about was how to, first off, when you have a challenge, understand why that challenge exists. So we provided different tools and framings for people to think about how to dive deeper in that. Then we started to do a lot more about idea generation and brainstorming and really gave a lot of tools and techniques about how do you go from the 80 ideas to the one idea which I think is something that we all struggle with, is how do you turn ideas into opportunities and really carry them forward. So that was what our goal was today, was to kind of introduce the students into different tools and techniques they could take back, and then feel also that they understand a process from a challenge to a potential solution. Hi, my name is Grace Ahrens. I go to the School of Social Work. This is my second year and I chose the Social Enterprise Administration track. In the School of Social Work we're very aware of the social problems and very aware of the impact that it has on our clients which are the communities or the most underserved, uh, the people that need these social services the most. So it's definitely made a sense of awareness of the problem around the world and a sense of introspection and learning about myself and learning about how I can put my tools to good use. I feel like it has lacked in the business part of it and it's a large area within the social work that we need to kind of marry those two areas and that's one of the things that I would like to do is find things, solutions that are more sustainable for the problems that we see. I loved the keynote speaker because I could see her trajectory in general and how she got from point A to point B and it made me feel empowered to even a, sometimes you go to conferences and you hear someone magnificent, but you don't approach them at the end. And sometimes just making that connection can help you get from an idea to an actual uh, result or a project that is being implemented. I'm Nigel. I'm a student at Teachers College, Columbia University. I'm the first year student in the MA Orgsite program, and I'll be graduating in 2017. At TC, a big value that we really emphasize on is justice. So. And I think that that's sort of ingrained into the DNA of most social enterprises. We look at a problem in the world and, and we say, what can we do about this? How can we like help the people who to access certain resources that because of the conditions they're in, they're unable to? I think um, uh, the operative word here is um, social. So there has to be a target group out there in society that your enterprise, the business model of your enterprise is looking to serve and, and you know, extend some goodwill to that something that stuck when, when the CEO of Etsy was, was saying um, he wanted us to think how success is and distinguish that between big and great. So I, I, I think the idea that we have is like great things are always big but that may be a myth because like sometimes the solutions that produce the most impact may be the simplest, easiest things to implement.
Uh, my name is Amber Liang and I am a CEPA grad 2017. I think social enterprise is just a way to make the world a better place uh, through business practices. Well, right now I'm at SIPA learning about public policy um, and learning about how we can solve social problems. I think that the speakers were really diverse, so social enterprise can really come from any number of means and industries and ways. So I think two takeaways is anyone can do it and it's just really about your imagination and how far you can take it. Being in New York City here, it's, it's really putting me out of my comfort zone and, and forcing me to think out of the box like this is a city of opportunities and what are you going to do like and and the ideas that I'm getting here it's really slowly expanding that box and, and, and pushing the boundaries and telling me like what's possible in, in the city if you dare to think about it so it's a bit of like courage building here. Entrepreneurs jump off a cliff and they'll build their wings on the way down so I, that's probably going to be the same way how it's going to be for you guys. You know where you want to go. You don't know how you're going to get there yet, but you'll find out on the way down. 